Hello Virgo, welcome to your love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Virgo, this is a collective love message for your sign, sun, moon rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Oh, okay, I knew that, that there is one more card. All right, so let's take a look. You might be dealing with Divine Masculine or you are Divine Masculine, Virgo. But I feel very strongly that uh, uh, this person here that we are connecting in this reading for you might be a runner. This is someone who can get very easily triggered. It's, I feel this person has these tendencies to kind of, you know, um, I'm getting someone here, Virgo, who uh, when the things are getting like uh, really emotional or like you feel that both of you are getting really kind of uh, close to each other in a sense of, um, how can I say it? You know, when the atmosphere is right and you're kind of expressing your feelings, this person is kind of uh, showing you a bit more of affection. Uh, next day, it might be a case that you don't hear from this person at all, or it's like um, they are acting in a completely different way. Mm -hmm. This person, um, I feel that there is something here that they are very kind of a, uh, guided by their fears, that sort of kind of, um, behavior I'm getting from that individual. You might have hazel eyes, this person might have hazel eyes. We have bright eyes, green, brown tones. Okay. Well, what I am getting here that for some of you, you might be a coffee lover, okay? <laughs> you might like coffee or this person likes coffee, uh, but I see a date or both of you, you know, meeting up for a coffee or something of this kind. Um, what I am getting also with this energy that this person has a certain facade or they want to kind of s people to see them in a certain way. I'm getting someone who might have uh, who might be very insecure, but it's like they, they want to, uh, they want people to see them completely differently. Mm -hmm. There is an attraction between the two of you, big time. Well, you can expect this person to make to ask you out or ask you on a date. Um, there will be a meeting between the two of you. And I feel that there is attraction. I feel that this person sees you as someone who is very beautiful or handsome. Uh, and I feel this is a neutral energy. You kind of see them that way as well. There is a, there is a passion between the two of you. But this person gets very easily triggered. Let's take a look, Virgo. Let's take a look. Could you please show me more about this situation? Virgo with this person. So we have a four of cups. Seven of swords. Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, Divine Masculine, Double Confirmation. The Lovers. Okay. The star and queen of cups, the hermit at the bottom of the deck, your energy Virgo. You might be dealing with another Virgo, okay? I also have Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Sagittarius, 
Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. So far in this reading for you, Hermit at the bottom of the deck. What is happening here? You have someone who has very strong feelings for you, but it's like um, they don't want to admit this. This person is a runner. They are running from their feelings. Four of Cups with the Seven of Swords. I, this is someone who might have this tendency to kind of... I feel that this person might be pushing you away here, Virgo. Because Four of Cups is that kind of... There is something here I feel that it's it's you are not particularly satisfied with or unhappy about. It's not working for you. And Seven of Swords suggests that you might not fully trust trust this person because you have your reservations. I feel that the, the core of the whole issue here is that this person, it, it's not fully transparent. And you might be suspecting that something here is off or, you know, this person. I feel that you're dealing here with someone who, who is acting in a kind of momentarily, maybe even odd way. Because look, we have this Four of Cups, Seven of Swords, and then we have the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like, I'm getting that dynamic from this card. It's like, for instance, there is a day when you feel like this person is taking step forward and this connection, it's moving, you know, in the right direction. But it might feel that when this person indeed is taking a step forward, automatically they are taking to step back because we have a very, very different energy. I feel this person can be very, very charming and very expressive with their emotions. They can really kind of show you and make you feel that they care with the Two of Cups, that they want this connection, that they have feelings for you. But when things are changing and this person can be, can, can you know, can be acting in a in a completely different way for instance unbothered or they can be quite dismissive with the four of cups seven of swords and this is where i feel you are unsure because you might be feeling that this person is hiding something they have secrets there is a lack of transparency because it's very difficult to understand that sort of dynamic one one person is really really kind of showing you that they are very into you and then next day they are acting in a completely different way it's confusing mm -hmm. we have the emperor the lovers the star and the queen of cups this person wants to be with you they feel this connection uh, if there is no contact situation between the two of you at the moment with the hermit, you might have withdraw your energy or took a step back in order to figure out, you know, the future of this connection, if this connection really makes sense or why this person is acting in that sort of way, whatever the case might be. Um, this is someone here who really kind of, uh, uh, I'm getting that they really want to heal this situation. Because this is someone who knows that uh, you have so much love to give. You are a very loving and very caring and kind person. And it's like they don't want to lose an opportunity to create a nice, beautiful, you know, nice connection with you. I see even, you know, we have the two of cups and the lovers relationship. And this emperor here is with the lovers is this person feels this connection on emotional level. This is someone who wants to be with you, who wants to have relationship with you. It's the lovers at the end of the day. Major Arcana, next to the star, they are full of hope. It's like, I feel this person is accept, expecting that you will understand them. You know, Virgo, it's like, I am what I am. Yes, I might be acting in a certain way. Sometimes I might say something. Uh, but, you know, it's a moment. I don't mean it. But then the situation is repeating itself again. And then, well, if you didn't mean it, why are you saying this or acting in a very, very familiar way once again? You know what I mean? That sort of kind of energy I'm getting here from those cards. 
but yeah uh, if there is no contact at the moment between the two of you that will change because this person i can tell you here big time you might be mirroring each other um but this person wants to be with you they want to heal this connection it's like they know with this with the star they they, they see it's like makes sense for them for, for both of you to be together because the star is the sense of direction it makes sense you know and because i feel that this person they've never i i'm getting very kind of energy of someone who've never really kind of experience uh experience uh, love um from their partner it's like they they've never really experienced that someone really cares for them you know and <laughs> we have this queen of cups here and this person knows that you are very very nurturing caring and loving and it's like they never really kind of experienced that from another individual. That's what I'm getting here when it comes to this person. That's why they don't want to lose an opportunity. Now, show me this person's feelings. Towards Virgo. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Ten of Cups. You see, on emotional level, this person wants to work on this connection it's like this person really it's like their feelings are telling them listen you need to put an effort you really need to kind of show virgo that you care um, you need to work on this connection but also on your insecurities two of wands at some point you will have to make an make a make a decision regarding the future of this connection and we have ten of cups this is someone who sees you as they happily ever after they want this connection this person has feelings for you they love you they want relationship based on mutual understanding and love five of swords but i'm getting at the same time because this is also energy of self-sabotage this is someone who's playing mind games with themselves virgo it's like this person might be a little bit in denial and that denial denial in the sense of how they really really truly feel about this whole situation and that might be reflected it's like this person's projecting it on this connection and it's reflected in their actions and that's what i was getting one step forward at the same time to step back Mm -hmm. but um and this person is confusing you by doing this obviously right but what i am getting here from this card this is someone who who loves you with the ten of cups and it's like their heart is telling them you need to put more effort you need to work on your insecurities and also kind of show that you truly care to Virgo with the two of wands at some point you need to make a decision in order to take action and we have the ten of cups they want relationship they want relationship based on mutual understanding and love this person wants to be loved mm-hmm but they need to stop sabotaging their feelings and this connection the thing is that they love you <laughs> this is mutual they want love they want to be loved but they also love you they do i feel this person is confusing you or they bringing this confusion to this situation Show me this person's actions towards Virgo. Two 
two of pentacles, the hanged man, six of wands. You might be dealing with Pisces. One more, please. Knight of Wands, mm -hmm. Hermit, again, at the bottom of the deck. You are all over this reading, your energy, Virgo. This is someone who is purely focusing on you. You are dominating this reading, your energy, big time. Two of Pentacles, you might be also dealing, of course, with another Virgo. Two of Pentacles, the Hangman, Six of Wands, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands suggests that this person will take action, but they are, again, this is, this is Rana, Knight of Wands. This person is taking one step forward, two step back at the same time. That's why we have energy of Two of Pentacles. What am I supposed to do? It's like, it's very inconsistent, indecisive energy. Then we have the Hanged Man. Yeah, this is someone who, I can tell you one thing here, Virgo, that this person is slowly changing perspective about this whole situation with the hanged man. Because at, at the end of the day, with the six of wands, they want to create a successful connection. They want success when it comes to this situation. This person will take action, okay? I'm getting within 12 days. You can expect here is something quite no noticeable when it comes to them. At the moment, this person, it feels that this person is, I, I, I just think that, you know, with the two of pentacles and all this energy that we went through, this is someone who, it's like they know what they want, but they are scared to, take action like a like a significant action i feel this is someone who is quite complex in the sense that what they've been through maybe this person is carrying a very heavy baggage you know and it's like they didn't they didn't uh, they didn't do the work and all those insecurities now are kind of resurfacing themselves and this person is projecting those issues on this connection. But I can tell you one thing, you are on their mind. This is someone who is focusing on you very, very much. And they will take action because Knight of Wands also is a very creative energy. And it feels like this person is coming. For some of you, it will be within 12 days or 12, sorry, or two weeks. They will come forward. Queen of Wands. It's something to do with a strong feminine energy in their life. For some of you, this is someone here who, uh, their ex-partner, something happened uh, between they ex okay for some i feel that it might be a case that this person um, might have been put in a third party situation and it's like they are they 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 build this invisible wall and it's very difficult to get through them but it doesn't change the fact that this person wants relationship with you let's okay we have a king of swords as an outcome show me the outcome for Virgo we have a, this Queen of Wands mm -hmm. Nine of Cups the High Precious and Magician okay there is a big uh, spiritual connection between the two of you King of Cups as an overall energy. I feel that both of you have feelings for each other with this King of Cups. I can tell you that this person indeed have, this person has feelings for you big time. So you might be dealing with Pisces. I also have more your energy, Virgo, Gemini. Okay. 
So we have King of Swords, Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups, High Priestess, the Magician. You will get what you want from that situation, Virgo. I can tell you that. To have a Nine of Cups and Magician in, 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 in here, it's a, it's a big energy of dream come true, personal satisfaction and getting what you want. King of Wands, sorry, King of Swords suggests here that this person wants to talk and they want to talk about a particular situation or event that happened in their life or person. And we have this Queen of Wands and that Queen of Wands suggests that there is indeed, it's a double confirmation for me, that there is a strong feminine influence that might be still kind of holding on to this person. And because of what happened, their actions are hugely influenced by that strong feminine energy. And I feel for some of you, again, it might be an ex or this person, it might be, for instance, a mother figure, okay, or a sister, auntie, grandmother. Please take it how it resonates. What I am getting, and that's probably far more important for what I'm saying now, is that this person wants to talk about this. And in your outcome, it what I am getting here that this person will kind of open up to you about that person, about that feminine energy. And this is something that they've been hiding for a very, very long time. Let's not forget the high precious is also feminine energy. But it's high precious is, you know, intuition. It also can represent a secret, but most of the time it's something that is unknown. You can have feelings about this but it's still kind of unknown. And with the King of Swords, this person here will kind of share this situation with you. And what I can tell you, Virgo, is that it will make you feel really happy because you will hear something that uh, will kind of reassure you about this person's intentions or you will kind of see, aha, uh -huh, now I know. Now I understand why this person might be acting in that way. And they will open up about their experience or about this person, this queen of wands. That, you know, metaphorically saying in this case, that third party that is holding some sort of influence over this connection. And the queen of wands, you know, it doesn't have to be a third party in the sense that this person it's interested in someone else. No, that third party in this context of this reading indicates that this person might be here conditioned by uh, outside influences in the form of strong feminine energy. Okay, so it, at the end of the day, that, uh, that thing that they've been hiding uh, this person will open up and you'll be very, very happy from what you will hear. Nine of Cups, that's a wish card. Make a wish, it will be granted, big time. You will get what you want. And Magician here suggests that you are manifesting this subconsciously or, or either way, it feels that um, you will gain it's like you will feel really good about this whole situation because finally you will gain uh, knowledge, knowledge, high precious knowledge about this whole situation and you will be able to kind of, you know, understand the very core of this person's uh, why this person is behaving in a certain way, why they are reacting in a certain way, because it's far more to, 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 to this situation when it comes to this individual. This person will open up to you and they will share this, this secret with you or this, this, this kind of a, uh, this thing that they've been you know, uh, hiding essentially because ultimately we have the emperor with the lovers they want you Virgo what I can say mm -hmm. the magician here suggests that you are very powerful especially next to the high priestess it feels like your intuition is spot on about something regarding this person or this connection 
and um, it's like you will gain clarity or maybe even kind of confirmation because for some of you might be suspecting that that's what is going on but either way um, <laughs> during this time it might be very 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 important for you Virgo to uh, maintain a very positive mindset because on what you are focusing on you're going to attract back to your life and with the nine of cups with the nine of cups high priestess and the magician you are incredibly powerful you manifesting and make a wish because it will come true yeah it will manifest big time you can achieve whatever you like with the magician that's what i feel they want you to know that you are very powerful and this person will open up to you and you will gain more knowledge about this whole situation about this person and it will kind of allow you to see certain things from a completely different perspective so there will be a progress regarding this whole situation virgo virgo i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. Virgo, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, 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 much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.